Welcome back, ladies and gents, to uh, another episode of Ark Mobile. Um, yeah, as you can see, we got Rosie, who's kind of just very, very uh, uh, invasive of our personal space. Of uh, yeah, so we're just gonna ignore that because she just does not wanna stop it. Do I have to like set your boundary limit to like low instead of lowest? Like Jesus Christ. Uh, you know what? I'm probably gonna have to. That's probably what I need to do. So we're gonna put you at low, not lowest. There we go. And close. Alright. Uh, so what we need to do is uh, continue on our uh, pursuits, actually. And, um, you know, I just realized, I think that's one of the things that's causing my issue with uh, in-game stuff. Turn the music off. In-game sound effects are all weird. I mean, I'm gonna leave the volume off though. All right. There we go. I think that's a little bit better. Um, but yeah, first things first, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go over there. We're gonna get that because I feel like doing it. While we're doing it, I'm gonna go ahead and read what we're gonna be doing with our pursuit, which is, now I'm getting attacked. That is not okay. That is, yeah. Um, thank you, Rosie. Very much appreciated, sweetheart. All right, uh, mementos left by old explorers will remain. There is a uh, there is a marked area on your map or in the direction of the of the top left indicator. Unlock its secrets. So basically, what that means is we got to go over there to that island, and in doing so, yeah, we get to cross the water. I wanted to wait till the daytime. Why? Because I really didn't have a safe way of getting over there across the at nighttime. As you can tell by me being attacked by Omega Piranhas. Um, watch out, Bronto. Let's get this supply crate. Take all. Sweet. There was a lot of stuff in there, actually. Um, alright. Not sure what that thing is over there, but... You a big guy. Alright. So, I'm gonna go ahead, uh, get across over there, and I will be right with you guys once we get across to that island over there. So, uh, sit tight. Well, we've made it across the island, finally. Um, go ahead, uh, let's check out our daily gift. Uh, cooked prime meat. That's actually very useful. Um, alright. Let's, uh, continue on. Uh, let's see where this takes us. Uh... This is very, very rocky beach. There's a lot of... Man, these things are huge. We're about 400 meters away from the location of where we gotta go. Let's look at the map real quick. Alright, so yeah. We got a good bit to go. Once we get there, I will be with you guys. Um, or if I find anything interesting on this island, which is to be determined. So, yeah, be right back in a short, jiffy moment. And uh, we got there, uh, almost. We're about a, what is it? No, I didn't want my inventory. I want that away. Uh, we were about a, what is it, 100 meters away? No, we were like spot on in the circle area. Oh, so it's back this way. All right, Rosie, no, no, this way, come on. We're going this way. It's down this way. We gotta go this way. It's down at the bottom of the beach where it meets the river. No? I'm not sure. Hold on, let's look at the map. Mm. If I go that way, it takes us away. So it's over here. Okay. Interesting. Is it in this rock? Do I have to take the rock out? Curious. Come on, Rosie. 
Alright, um... So, that means it has to either be up there, or it's around this way. That's what it seems like. Oh! I think we found it, Rosie. Rosie, you did... You scaled them boulders, girl. Keep scaling them every time. You're gonna get stronger. Dumb legs are gonna get stronger, and you're gonna be able to run faster. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, whoa. Look at this place. This is nice. Oh. Well, saber toothed salmon, salmon dossier. All right. Uh, that's interesting. This guy looks like he mean, it means some business. Rip off your legs and stuff. Probably tear right through you while you're just trying to swim away. Alright, common name, Sabertooth Salmon. Species, Ankarth, uh, Kari... I am not even going to try to pronounce that. Grex Lamia. Time, late Miocene, mid... Uh, Pleistocean, I think? Diet, it's a carnivore, temperament, evasive, aggressive when attacked. While fairly unremarkable by the island standards, uh, is a uh, the saber-toothed salmon is a generally passive fish. Its main form of protection is swimming in a large school. Saber-toothed salmon does not like conflict and generally swim, swims away from anything larger than itself at very high speeds. Uh, once provoked, however, the saber-toothed salmon becomes quite aggressive. Along with its nearby brethren, it locks onto its prey with its long saber teeth and begins draining the creature's blood. Holy crap. This loss of blood is not too dangerous alone. But when a school of uh, saber-toothed salmon attack at once, their target quickly loses speed and stamina from blood loss, drowning it if... Drowning if it cannot breathe underwater. Jesus Christ. These things are mean. Domesticated. Like many of the smaller fish found on or around the island, uh, saber tooth salmon cannot be tamed. But it is often uh, herded and harvested for its resources. And in particular, certain cuts of saber, saber tooth salmon meat are considered to have superb quality and are often referred to as prime fish, used for specific high and concoctious concoctions and taming the island's many per perseverous creatures. Interesting. Alright, so th that's useful. Cool. Alright, uh... That on top of this... No, back, close. On top of this one that we found from last time, the Pegomastic. Uh... I could read, you know what, because I didn't, uh, but no, I had a video on that, if you guys want to read that yourselves, it's a little short video, just sh pause it and you can read the text, I actually go up and down on it numerous times so you can read it, and stuff like that, anyways, <laughs> well, with that, we, uh, what did we get, we, uh, leveled up, and, uh, then some, interesting, and we get two times the experience, alright, I like this, it's a nice little area, actually. I might end up building a, a place to live over here. It seemed like I'd have more protection being able to I can get on higher ground. Uh, Alright. Um, first things first. Let's go over here. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Let's take a look at what all we got and let's level up. That's lovely. You have no decency in our shame, but you're so graceful and pretty. I love you, Rosie. <laughs> all right, uh, let's see. What all did we get? I didn't pick anything up, but we got levels. So we leveled up. Let us bring up our hmm, movement speed. Yes. All right, so we got 21 levels. I think that gives us enough to unlock more hide armor. Good. Yeah, uh, yes. Oh, no, wrong button, that's why. What are you doing? I clicked the wrong button, that's what I did. Okay. So, uh, yes. Oh, I don't have enough for that. And then the hide hat. What's a composite bin? 
A large bin for converting thatch and prop into high quality fertilizer. Ooh, I'm gonna need that. Which also reminds me, actually, we uh, previously in the last episode we ended up finding a uh, another uh, loot drop, and with that stone workshop. Oh, okay, we got a stone workshop now. Cool. Uh, but it, it, as I was saying. Um, with that loot drop, I ended up getting uh, a bunch of stuff for uh, uh, crops. I got crop boxes and all that, and I got, I, I think it looks like stone irrigation piping, but I want to go ahead and uh, set that up, but uh, in process, uh, uh, I will be back with you guys uh, once we get over there, so you don't have to worry about the dangerous trek there, but if I find anything of interest or anything neat, uh, I'll, I'll be right with you guys. Um, ooh, also, I want to actually take a look right before we leave. I want to see what other pursuits we got. We can go hunt a Mega Piranha, Fresh Breakfast, Tame an Equus. What is an Equus? Uh, and then we have the Less Naked. You know, we'll, we'll do the Less Naked. We can actually, uh, Less Naked. What it wants us to do, I'm um, gonna go ahead and read this, so don't mind me, you're gonna not see my face when I read this. Once crafted, you can equip armor by double swapping it in your inventory or selecting the item in your survivor menu. Okay, craft and equip a full cloth set of armor. Oh, alright, but do I not have a full? Oh, I'm missing the headgear, that's, that's why. That, that, that would explain some things. I could make the wrist wrap, you know? We'll, we'll craft that. Well, it looks like I can't craft that. It looks like I'm short on some fiber. Oh, no. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll be back with you guys once we are at uh, our first base camp of our little thatch. Uh, home away from home oasis. Yes. <laughs> We made it back. Unfortunately, I had a slight issue. I died, and then I had to go back and get my stuff. Um, what killed me? I tried going across the river and swimming, and I got... <coughs> Let's just say I got nibbled to death by a bunch of mega piranhas, and it wasn't a pleasant nibbling. Fuck, no. This shit sucked. Alright. Uh, so, what we're gonna do is fully clothe ourselves um as you can tell i already made the stuff that we were missing uh we finished that one all right so now we should do something better these nicer boots are higher quality and really stand out wait what why do you, why are my what they're green okay yeah whatever uh, but the next uh, pursuit, um, hold on. Why? This pursuit will this pursuit will be unlocked once you have learned the following Ingrams. Okay. So I need to learn those ones, uh, which means that we can either do the little Fioma, which is the one made all of wood, or we can do, where is it? Knowledge of our forebears, the next one. And that one actually takes us right. Wait, does that take us? Oh, that's taking us back there, but we've already done that one. Um, so there's a, a, a one over there. It's not over there. Uh, here, I'll show you. Um, it's like right around, it's moved up here. So when we go back over here, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be right up here again. So we're gonna be making from this trek to this trek. But once we get to this trek, and once we get to like right about, well, after we get here, and we get to the new area it's trying to take us to, right before we get there, I'll be right with you guys. So, um, yeah, didn't think that one through, honestly. But then again, I never think half the shit through that I do. So, uh, at, at least I could say we are warm. Um, 
what I got to what I also uh, I, one of the other things I did is I helped Mossy here be able to come be be f be freely to move around and she's no longer stuck like right here where she was last time so which is a good thing also um, but yeah uh, I have to actually set this back up again and set it back over here so I can actually have security against this open area so yay yay pee. yay yippee all right see you guys shortly once we get to the new area of uh, our four barriers oh, yes. all right so we uh made it back uh, one of the things that I wanted to do, like I said before, is uh, check out these uh, uh, crop plot boxes. God, I can't think of what they're called. With along with the irrigation piping that we uh, found, it's all made out of stone, actually. So that, which is actually pretty cool. Um, as to how it works, I have no idea. But I do know it's a good thing that I have. A bunch of dino pets because I need a dino poo in order for this stuff to work or until I can at least make a, a composite box to make fertilizer um, so there's that let's go ahead and put that away put that away I need the crop plot boxes uh, I need the irrigation pipe which would be the straight one uh, and think that along with okay we don't need that or that I uh, guess we can use that one maybe I don't know I have no idea what I'm doing all I know is it's quite uh, it's new to me uh, honestly so first things first stone irrigation pipe intake okay so, do I place that there? Uh, oh, okay, so that's how it looks. That's interesting. Okay, stone pipe irrigation, stone irrigation pipe inclined. Uh, stone irrigation pipe straight. Uh, stone irrigation pipe vertical. What is, oh, no. Uh, straight is this how this one would work no straight what is going on why is it not snapping or connecting okay so inclined goes uh, straight pipe Will that work oh. okay so all right now as for the crop boxes I guess Is this how this works? How does... How does this work? I have no idea how any of this works. Um, Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, set these down here real quick. I th think this is... How, where it's gonna go? Yeah. And then I'm probably doing this all wrong too so there's that slight issue um, place that one there and then place that one there is that how it works I have no idea uh, vertical uh, oh okay that's how that works all right um now how does the water go in and all that? 
I don't know. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look further into this. Uh, straight pipe. No. Uh, can I take this one off? No, I don't want my inventory. I need to go in here. Uh, yes. Yes. Water pipe. Uh, destroying. Do I get this back? No. I probably just screwed that up. Can I not crap? Oh, I probably broke that. Well, um, hmm. Inclined. There we go. I mean, that might work. I don't think it's going to, but it might. It might. You never know. We never know. All right, so there's those crop boxes. That's that's how those get set up. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how to do this. If anybody knows how to actually do this properly, uh, let me know. If not, I'm gonna have to learn how to figure this out myself. I'd love to know how this works because I honestly don't know. Anyways. We'll be back, uh, and we'll actually go ahead and we're gonna continue on with the, uh, the forebearers. Even though, uh, since uh, we started it, and we finished the first one, which was over that way, and now the next one is taking us somewhere around over there. So yeah, I'll be back with you guys, so. Okay, uh, slight dilemma. Um, I was gonna do the, uh, the crafting when we got back to my base area, but I have a slight issue with the uh, big nasty that's in here. And yeah, he's right there. And he's a big nasty guy. And I want to get my guys a little bit away from that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and craft it right here. So, let's go into the crafting inventory. Let us make a hat, boots, gloves, uh, a hide shirt, and a hide pants. All right. All right, all right, all right. Add this. Say, no. We do this. Add that. Add that, add that, add that, and then unskin, and then we take, that's skins, yes, use skin, there we go, okay, so that's how you do that, oh, and we level them. Alright, perfect, 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 perfect. We leveled up too. Okay, uh, let us increase our hmm, movement speed because that seems to be a little bit better for us to actually be able to move around without getting murdered. Uh, so, hmm, we, we, we have some skill points. We can actually learn some stuff right now if we want to. But, which is it? Uh, ah, the composite bin. That's what I wanted to learn. So, now we have the composite bin. Uh, let's make a wooden window frame. And I think a uh, fence. We'll use the, we'll make a wooden fence. All right. So, we got those skill points done. Uh, let's see, uh, our pursuits, nine new pursuits now available, pursuits complete, uh, let's go ahead and go back into our pause menu, let's go into, well not our pause menu, our inventory, and let's see what pursuits we have, uh, the second Fioma, and then knowledge of our forebears. okay, hmm, 
Uh, let's see what the knowledge of our forebears is, and let's see where that kind of takes us. Hold on. Oh, uh, it's... Man, it's taking us back in the same area. It's a damn runaround. Okay, so we're not doing that one. Uh, what we will do, however... Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. 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 We gotta kill this big guy. He's dead. He's dead. Alright, this big brute was a meanie pants. Alright, let's go collect our arrows. Let's see what uh, this dude had in his inventory. Oh, okay. Stone arrows and hide. Another one of those things. That, uh, we might as well take it. We'll take it all. We'll take it all. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, get the meat and uh, I'll see you guys back at uh, our base camp area. Uh, oh, right. Um, well, not sure what this is, but I found it. Um, yeah, I was about to say, I really don't really, you stupid little copy, go away. Bad little thing. All right, um, we, what is up here? I don't know why that thing activated. What is this? What is, can I do anything with this? No? Is there anything around here? Is there anything like interesting value? No? I guess not. I don't know. Just some random uh, ruined architectural design thing that is just right here. Huh. Oh well. Alright. Well, that was interesting. Well, uh, well, I have actually figured out how to do this, and, uh, all that requires me to do is just a little bit of, uh, water skin use right here for, uh, water pouch. Um, now my thing is, will it work? Hold on. I had to go all the way in the water. There we go. Try this again. No? Okay, so... Wait. Hold on. I'm gonna go make a nether water pouch real quick so we can do this with. Um, probably gonna need more than one. But, let's see what we need to make one. Uh, fiber and hide. Sure. We have enough hide and we have enough fiber. So, let's make one, two, three... We'll make three of them. Uh, we'll make six total. All right. Uh, there's those. So what we're gonna have to do is fill them up, and then we're gonna put them inside the uh, the, the crop boxes. Um, one of the other things I need to do, I can actually just carry that all with me, which is fine. Um, I need to actually get ready to set up a. Uh, uh, a composite bin, and the composite bin is actually gonna go right there. We have a facing right there under this tree. Um, yeah, see, the the water things do work. Oh, that actually has water in it. All right. Um, let us uh, go ahead and. Uh, Get these water power, uh, fill. We're gonna fill them all. And the ones that we fill, we're gonna be putting inside those uh, crop boxes. Because they produce a lot of seeds, actually. And the reason why I'm using Mijo berries is, uh, ber Mijo seeds is because they grow, uh, you get a lot, apparently. Um, I can probably put two in there. Feed you one more, or leave the empty one in there. Uh, put two in here, good, 
Feed you one. Good. And we'll put the two in here. You don't need any because you already have one. That's well, you don't need to be fed because you already have one. Uh, we'll take this. Uh, I'll take that bit of fertilizer. And I will put this bit of fertilizer in here. And then I will put this bit of fertilizer in here. And that fertilizer is 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 dino crap. Yes, it is dino crap. Um this structure will slowly convert thatch and feces into high quality compost. So basically, whatever poop my uh, little my little dino buddies decide to ever uh, uh, excrement out will actually be picked up by me. I will take all the little poopy poos and I will put their all their poopy poos inside the decom. The decomposition bin. Yeah, that thing. Um, whatever it's called. But, yeah, no. Uh, so, that's all there is to it. And yeah, at the irrigation pipes, I actually went back and looked. There was a, a piece I was missing that I didn't get inside the loot drop. But uh, we actually might be able to see if we can get one now, being the fact that there's a loot drop over here somewhere and hopefully there's no monsters that want to rip our face off over in this vicinity uh, so we'll go ahead and make the make a quick grab of this uh, loot drop and then uh, yeah we'll go ahead and set up this other uh, a large storage box I have right there uh, and yeah let's see Ooh, what did we we got a blueprint for primitive raptor saddle what we got a primitive raptor saddle. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so... Oh, I know what we need to do. Okay, so we have blueprint to make that. That's pretty good, actually. I like that. So we got a, we got a decent blueprint. Um, not what I was hoping for, because I was kind of hoping to get one of those irrigation thingies again. But eh, it's whatever. We could always eventually craft one on uh, a craft event. You get to craft those ourselves. Um, but yeah, no, that's that's about it. Uh, next time we come back though, in the next episode, uh, we'll begin uh, working on uh, 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 what is it? It's south of the island. Honestly, I want to see what this is real quick. Uh, in the south of the island. So what this is? Uh, search here. Oh. It's another search the area shown on the map. Oh, okay. So next time when we come back, we're going to be doing the south of the island uh, uh, pursuit. Um, and then I think on top of that, we will be doing the second little Fioma. Where we're building our wooded house. Our house made entirely wood this time. Uh, but what we'll do is, uh, I'm probably gonna go ahead and collect enough wood stuff, or if I need materials, I'll collect materials and I need to uh, get started. But uh, what I wanna do is, when we come back next time, we'll probably either start in the south of the island uh, pursuit, or we'll be started first with second little Fioma pursuit. Uh, but uh, it all depends on the flip of the coin, if you know what I mean. I'm going to leave it up to fate and decision of fate on whether it's heads or tails on which we do. So, uh, in any case, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, remember, stay savvy. It is just a video game after all. And uh, also, if you did like, uh, like enjoy this, uh, this episode of my series of ARC, Arc Mobile, uh, my ARC series, um, go ahead and uh, feel free to let me know and uh, yeah uh, don't worry we'll probably be uh... no I, I didn't want to do that I, I wanna there we go <laughs> see I wish you could do that with all of them but uh, yeah no as for where I want to set this big guy at, I'm not fully sure so I'm probably just gonna hold on to it for right now and yeah um... That's probably going to be about it. So sit tight until the next episode.